So you just created your progressive landing page and now when you go to when the lead goes to fill out their name and their email and then they hit the submit button and then they go to the other landing page or the progressive landing page after that um, the name is not automatically populating over they're having to retype it in and also as they're going through the progressive landing page it's causing duplicate contact so it's creating you know from one lead is creating multiple leads I'm gonna show you how to fix that in this video um, if you don't know how to set up a progressive landing page you go to your video tutorials right here in the Action Center so right here click on it next you want to go down to the marketing section right here and then the last one landing pages progressive so that'll show you how to set up a progressive landing page I'm gonna assume you've already watched that video all right, so let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. I'm going to create a lead in here. So here's my first time home buyer workshop landing page. And if you want to see, if you go to landing pages right here, so here's how I've set mine up. Basically, the prospect's going to fill out this first landing page. Once they hit the submit button, it's going to go to landing page number two where you could ask some additional information. And then after they fill that out, They'll go to the third and final landing page where you collect the rest of the information. That way, if they don't fill, um, that way, if they decide, hey, they don't want to fill out this information or this information, at least you have a name and an email so you do collect the lead versus having a landing page that asks a bunch of questions where they don't put in anything. So let's go ahead and show this process. So register now for our free first time home buyer workshop. I'm going to click register now and I'll put in Jason Sellers. So right now, as soon as I hit the submit button, this lead will go into the, my contacts inside the Dynamics Pro. The good thing about progressive landing pages is if you had a whole list of questions, they may see it and just say, you know what, I don't want to fill this out and they'll X off of it. So at least you get the lead. So I'm going to hit send and then it's going to take me to my second landing page. And you could design the second landing page the way you want for this uh, uh, for this demonstration I just wanted to create a copy so now it went to this landing page so now let's go ahead and go back and we'll hit register now and you'll notice that now it's asking me to put in a name again so I'm gonna put Jason Sellers okay so I shouldn't have to retype the name again alright so let's go ahead and put in a phone number we'll just put this 555 and name of your guest maybe you're bringing a guest we'll put uh, John Smith, have you applied for a loan already? No. And then I'm going to hit send. So now if they get to the next or the third landing page and they go to click on the next information, it says you're almost done. Now we want address. Okay. So they might be like, all right, this is way too much information. I'm going to close this out. However, you've already, because you use progressive landing pages, now you've collected at least some of that lead and you do have a lead. You might not have all the information that you wanted, but at least by using the progressive landing pages, you were able to collect some of it without them getting off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep on going on here and just fill this out real quick. hit send and it says thank you we've received your information so now I've completed all three progressive landing pages but let's go ahead and take a look and let's refresh this page so now it shows that I have three three leads on here okay so let's go ahead and just do a search for Jason sellers all right, let me go ahead and hit search. Now it shows three separate leads. I, it shouldn't show three separate leads because it's just that one person. All right, so now what we want to do is I want to show you how to eliminate the duplicate contact and also so you don't have to retype the first name in. Here's the problem that happens. All right, so when we go to the first, when you've set up your initial the first page of your progressive landing page and you go to the form you say I want to see the first and last two uh, last name two fields 
However, if you look on the second landing page, so if I go to my second landing page, the way that I set this up, whoops, if I go to form, you'll notice I selected the one name field. You have to have the, you have to have that matching. So whether you use first and last uh, name with the two fields or the one field, you have to be consistent through all three of your progressive landing pages. Another, so that will, when you select those and make them consistent all the way through the landing pages, then what it'll do is it will auto populate that over. And then, so that, that'll solve the auto populate and their names in so they don't have to retype it in. And then you, get, you have to put their email, make it uh, required in there too. That way, one, it will auto-populate. And number two, the system will match up their first and last name and their email knowing it's the same, same person. Because, you know, you may have two John Smiths. So the system doesn't know whether this is the same lead or a different lead. So you want to make sure that the email and the first and last name match up. So I want to require the email on this one. And I'm going to go down and hit Apply Changes. And that's uh, number two. So now I'm going to go to number three and do the same exact thing. So I'm going to go to the number three, go to the form, and then I'm going to switch the field from one name to the two fields, and then also the email. Apply changes. All right, so now we should be good to go on here. So let me just double check. I'm going to go through the first one again check out the form two fields email landing page number two and in the progressive landing page go to form two fields email and you want to make sure that you make that uh, let's see here number three form two fields required. Okay, so now we have this set up to match it up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just put in a different name. So we'll put in Brian Smith b.smith at email for you.com. Just kind of making something up. Alright, so we're going to hit send. Now it's going to send me to my second progressive landing page. And now it auto populates this. So you see it auto populated first name, last name, and email. So you got to make sure that those all match up. Now they could just start putting in their, their information. All right, name your guest, Jason, whatever. And we'll hit send. And then now it'll take it to the third one and it'll auto populate again. So now we're in the third one, auto populates. And then you could finish filling out the information and name your guest, Barry. All right, and then we'll hit send. Now it should take us to the third, or the, um, the thank you page, so it did. So now let's go ahead and look at Brian Smith. So now, I might have two Brian Smiths in here as an example. Let's see here. So, we, oh, I don't. Good. Okay. So now I don't have three, uh, three of the same name now. So if I click on it, there we go. And then it has all of the information that you asked in the landing page under the notes inside the contact card, and you no longer have. So if we go to Brian Smith, there's just one contact versus the first example, which was Jason Sellers. So that's how you fix the problem of making sure that when you go from one progressive page to another, that the first name, last name, and email auto-populate over so they don't have to retype that information in. And then this is how you fix the um, multiple entries. Um, and now with Brian Smith, there's only one entry and it's the same person for the progressive landing pages.